The specialty coffee world is growing and the amount of attention to every detail that is being paid by the customer and by the roasters is surprising and it starts to resemble sort of the connoisseurship of wine or small batch beer brewing. Pour over coffee is a increasingly popular way of making the perfect cup of freshly brewed coffee um, and traditionally it is a very handmade sort of process. You first rinse the filter and then you add the grounds and then you pour a measured amount of water in a little spiral over the grounds waiting for it to first bloom. The bloom releases CO2 which you don't want in your coffee. It makes it taste weird, a little bit bitter. Depending on how you pour it, you can get a lot of different flavor notes. It's a really involved process. Like you're paying attention to it every step of the way. Pour Steady is a semi-automated pour-over coffee machine. We designed this machine to be used by an experienced priest who was already used to doing this process of making pour-over coffee by hand. And so we wanted to give them a lot of flexibility in kind of recreating the motions they were doing by hand. And so the first step in any proper pour over is to actually rinse the filter. Our solution takes care of the water temperature, the timing, the pour patterns, the spirals, the measurement. And while the water is going through the filter, our machine can kind of service up to five at a time and do them all perfectly repeatably. We developed this web app which lets you build recipes. And a recipe is made up of pours, we call them. And each pour is an amount of water, a wetting pattern, like what pattern the water gets applied in, and how long you wait after that pour of water. You can store any number of recipes and any one of them can be assigned to any station at any time. We've designed this machine in a way that um, we can manufacture it ourselves right here in Brooklyn. Real companies participate. It is really important that these light manufacturing zones that are protected for people making stuff in New York City are maintained. On the one hand, you need an ecosystem, you need buildings like this, you need places where you can build things, but they also need to be in areas of the city that are totally livable because you're trying to attract engineers, MBAs, people that appreciate a good coffee shop or you know all of the things that the office workers in Manhattan appreciate but you also need the additional ability to like make stuff and um, places like this are great for that and Guanas is an awesome neighborhood for doing that. This is my machine shop. I've had these machines for years and I do my own mechanical design, I buy the raw materials and I do all the metal cutting here. I just like building stuff. I'm an engineer, I've always been a tinkerer. I've been doing research work for so long, you know, you end up building a lot of really interesting systems but most of them don't really do anything in the end, you know. In the best case it gets used by a bunch of researchers for a few years and then kind of gets put in a closet and disappears. So for a while now I've been wanting to work on something that has a little bit more exposure and also could actually, you know, get closer to people and be something actually durable that could be used out in the world for longer. This is the, the innards of the machine with the top cover off. And as you can see, there's one motor behind this white cover, which drives the, we call the x-axis, which is the linear axis. And there's another little motor on the other side here that drives the whole bar and that's the tilt axis. And so by combining these two motions, you can end up with really any kind of arbitrary pattern. We spend a lot of time making the motion really interesting and making it organic. One of the exciting things about robotics is that when you're done with the machine and you plug it in, it moves. It's kind of like, comes alive in a way. We are currently just working through the very last round of refinement to the hardwares. We've sold the first few machines and we'll be shipping the machines in July.